You may not see as many big rigs on the road this summer. That's because there's a shortage of truck drivers across the country. 13 on your side, Elena Holland explains how the problem could affect West Michigan. You might be waiting longer for something to be delivered. Part of that issue. Big truck driver shortage right now. There's not enough truck drivers out there to meet the demand. I think a lot of the drivers that are out there currently are working a lot harder. Uh, the local drivers are working a lot more hours. I think things just get pushed back and delayed a little bit. Um, I think right now there's just uh, one of the big things is Amazon and it's so busy with uh, the COVID and everything that, uh, you know, the companies are just, you know, have all they can do to handle the freight that there is. Mike Birdsall is the president of West Michigan CDL Truck Driving School. While the shortage may be bad news for the shipping industry, he's working harder than ever, training the people looking to become part of this in-demand field. But it's a shorter way to get trained in a new career and, and, and make a pretty good paycheck. Birdsall thinks the pandemic has even increased the truck driver demand as more people relied on deliveries this past year. Tank truck drivers are needed as well to haul gas to stations. The National Tank Truck Carriers Group told CNN 20 to 25 percent of their tank trucks are parked because they don't have enough qualified drivers. And could that have an impact on gas supply or prices? Maybe, but Patrick DeHaan with Gas Buddy does not think we'll see it in West Michigan too much. If the effects are felt anywhere, it would be near big tourist destinations like Orlando. We're seeing ripple effects across the chain. I mean, if you can even get a rental car uh, in some of these areas, then filling it up might be a little bit of a headache. But uh, this should be very limited. Uh, the, the disruptions this summer. But prices, they may go up regardless of the driver shortage, as Americans are driving at the highest pace since before the pandemic began. DeHaan says West Michigan prices have been hovering close to $3 a gallon, but could hit that mark this summer. And along with it, obviously, we're seeing higher prices as a result of that increase in demand. And that brings about some of these challenges that uh, there's not enough truck drivers in some communities to keep up with the insatiable demand for uh, gasoline that we're seeing. But for Birdsall, he's keeping busy training the new drivers and says it's a good career for many if interested. I don't see the driver shortage going anywhere anytime soon. Elena Holland, 13 on your side.